I'm Margo, and this is Club Ringling. Coming up, we are gonna learn some of the epic secrets behind the music that drives the entire show, and get excited. Oh, maybe someone will teach me how to use this thing. with Alex and Lauren. First things first, what is something unique each of you do that not many people do in the show? I will say I have the best place in the whole house because I'm right up close to everything happening, right in the middle of the action. I love that, you get a little bird's eye view. Yes. That also sings. That also sings. Yes. I and love it. What about you? A dream come true moment, I'm drumming and I get raised up on a platform that then flies in the air. So I actually, for a second, have a better seat than you do. For a second. <laughs> Take that. But then, what's it like working together? You collaborate a lot, right? We it, have too much fun. It's <laughs> very goofy. We can never take ourselves seriously. We're always laughing, uh, probably at inappropriate times, but it's great. <laughs> All right, shall we do a little musical improv? Yes. A little jam sesh? Let's yes. Let's do it. You like my song? I. Come on, folks, gather around. Mm -hmm. There's room for improvement. Mm -hmm. You want to tune me up a little bit? Let's yes. tag team this. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay, okay, so I need to learn how to play the guitar. I've never played before. Use this. First, you need a, a triangle. <laughs> or a pick. Or a pick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is called a pick. Okay. Not for your nose, but for the guitar. Yes. Now, put your finger on the fret. Oh, and that fret is? A note on a guitar. Hey, okay. Now what? <laughs> you handle the work down there. Okay, oh, I like this little half and half, and then you'll sing a note? Yes, let's see what we hear. All right, Yeah. let's see what comes out. He's gonna work the, what's this part? The neck. The neck of the guitar. She's gonna work her vocal neck. I'm gonna strum. Here you go. Ready? Go. Yep. Sing along. Ooh. La, 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 and la. It's coming out. That's beautiful. You're beautiful. That was great. Wow. You're great. Like, Did you hear that? That, that was that great. Was, we're making music, guys. Yeah. Now, the thing is, maybe you, if you're watching at home, don't have a guitar. And you know what? That's okay. Let's drop the guitar. Yeah. Because we're going to make some music with just some ordinary objects. Go look around your house. Yes. Pick up anything. Anything can make noise. You can make music. Yes. yes. All right, jam sesh coming up. So, let's take some of these objects and mm -hmm. just just play. What do you want to pick? We're getting it ready. Do you want to take this and I take one of these? Yeah, and then I'll and then I'll tap on with with maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a jingle. Right. Yeah. I'll right. do some of this. Okay. 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 All right, so here, here we go. go. Two, one, two, two, three, four. Ringling, ringling in the house. Yay, ringling. Ringling in the house and then we bada 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 bada. Uh, we came in the house to play and say, hey. we love to perform every day. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh Do you guys have any tips for my friend watching right now? Be creative. Yeah. Allow your mind to wander. Use your imagination. Anything is possible and anything is an instrument. Yes, the sky's the limit. Literally, you can do anything you want, make up a song, make it up from the soul, have fun with it. Yes, I'm so excited. Well, let's close it out with our song, shall we? Five, six, seven, eight. Come on, folks, gather around. The greatest show on earth in town. We'll make you laugh, we'll make you sing. Here on Club Ringling. We love you, 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 we love you. My friend, I am here with Donna. She is the Senior Director of Costumes and Costume Designer at Ringling. Donna, thanks for coming and chatting with me. So first things first, what are your top three Ringling secrets? Well, I think the top secret for every costume is lots and lots of rhinestones. We get access to all of the most amazing colors and their new things and everything, so that's pretty cool. We're 
very exclusive in that area. So are these extra sparkly to be seen in the entire arena? They are. I love it. I'm, I'm a big, big fan. Sparkle fan. Of sparkle. Great. Lots of sparkle. Okay, uh -huh. secret number two. Thousands of yards of fabric, mostly that stretches. So it takes thousands of yards of fabric sure. just for the Ringling Show? Whoa. Of course. Oh if you gosh. figure we have 75 performers and every performer has at least one costume. Right. And so much of what they do is athletic. You know, world-class athletes is really who we have. Right. So everything has to stretch. And that's one of the biggest challenges is having all of the different looks that we're trying to accomplish allows them to do everything that they have to do. I love that. So the fabrics have to stretch, the performers have to stretch. Stretching is a very big deal here. Yes, it is. And secret number three. Performers can only perform in costume. They cannot eat. They cannot drink. So wow. that's how we preserve our costumes. But you know so. what, it makes sense. I mean, you put so much time and effort uh. and care into every single detail, and yes, it could yeah. be wrecked with some ketchup. So You're not wrong. Yeah. And, and then you're playing ketchup, trying oh, to fix it. But I'm ba -ba -bang. <laughs> there it is, there's the joke of the day. Okay, so what got you here? I was a dancer, but my mother also taught me to sew when I was very young. So wow. that was the thing, crafting and sewing, and cool. I made a lot of my own clothes. She also helped me make the harder things. My early years really taught me about work ethic and drive and not giving up and making mistakes and correcting the mistakes and being okay to say I made a mistake. Right. Right. and fixing it, and we do that still all day long. We have a fitting, it's not quite right, we make adjustments. How do you draw inspiration and where does it come from for this show? Well, circus costumes are known to be elaborate and grand and big, and what has been really fun is that I've worked with the designers from some of the troops from the other parts of the world. Amazing. The Arjun Dance, awesome. and then the same with Troop Brothers. Right. So we're really infusing the different heritages from around the world into what you're going to see in the show. Because our performers are who they are. They're not playing other people. They're playing themselves. I love that. So we're celebrating who they are, where they came from, what they do, their uniqueness. So you are taking from their personality. Mm -hmm, very much. And creating these costumes and wardrobe based off that. Yep. So for my friend at home watching, you could do the same thing. What is your costume? Do you have any you know tips what? for them? I do. Be yourself. Find your vibe. Hashtag find your vibe. It's okay to be unique. Don't be like everybody else. If there's a cool hat that you love, wear your hat. If there's a color you love, wear that color. Yeah. Develop your style from your heart and your soul. Don't pay attention to what other people think you should be. Do what you want to do and be who you want to be. Yes, Donna. Yes, Donna. Now, lastly, I hear the word on the street. I don't know if it's a myth or a legend, but is there this, this massive costume wardrobe warehouse here? It is a legend, but it's real. <laughs> Only a select few get to be admitted entrance into the costume warehouse. What do I have to do to get into this? And can I maybe try on something? I think we could probably work that out. Yes! Let's go! Ready to play? Dress up! That does it for Club Ringling. I had the best time. Did you? I know you did. Thank you for being a part of the greatest show on earth. Until next time. May all your days be ringling days. See ya.